All right, this is number two from the 2008 Form B Calc A, B, and B, C exams. And uh, it's been my experience people find this a challenging question. Um, we're going to go through, we're going to talk about the units a lot as we go through this problem. Um, we're given that R of T is this, and we're told that that is kilometers per hour. And then the first question is, how many kilometers did it travel during the first two hours? Well, that's a relatively easy question, but I want to do something a little different here. I'm going to draw a fake graph of R of T. Uh, fake, because I didn't graph that. I have no idea what it actually looks like. Um, this is a calculator question, but we're going to talk about it a lot. So uh, numbers will come from calculators, but in general, we're just going to discuss. Um, so if I label up the axes here, I have kilometers per hour, I have hours. So if I integrate, the uh, region that I get here has units kilometers, um, which we already knew. But uh, I want to make sure you're really paying attention to the units on this thing. So the distance is um, the integral from 0 to 2 of R T D T. And then I just use my calculator to get 206.370 kilometers. I would probably store, store that value because you're going to actually need it later. Um, though you don't really have a reason to know that right now. Um, but anyway, make sure you're using your calculator to get that actual value. Um, Alright, so the next question, what we want to do is figure out the rate of change um, with respect to time of the uh, liters of gasoline at t equals 2. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to write down the units of everything. So R of t has units kilometers per hour, which we know. Um, g of x, this other function that we're given, has units liters, right? So g of x, the outputs of that function have units liters. Um, but x, which is the input, has units kilometers. Um, so if I take the derivative, that would give me g prime of x, and that has units liters per kilometer. Um, and then the other thing that we really need is we need to know that um, the integral of r of u du has units kilometers, which we talked about on the previous part. Um, and what I'm looking to get is I need, uh, I really need liters per hour. So if I take kilometers per hour and I multiply by liters per kilometer, that's going to give me liters per hour. So that's what I ultimately want to do. So from here, it's not that tricky. So at t equals 2, we know that x is the integral from 0 to 2 of r t d t, which from part a we know is 206.370 kilometers. You should have that stored somewhere on your calculator um, as something. I don't know what. Um, so that's the kilometers we want. And then we know that we want to do um, r of t times uh, g prime of x. So the rate of change of liters with respect to time is... So r of t at 2 is just r of 2. And then we want to do g prime of x, but x is the value that we found. So times g prime of 206.370. And then punch that into your calculator. It gives you pretty much exactly 6 liters per hour, which, uh, I don't know, I find that kind of surprising. But, yeah, pretty much exactly 6 liters per hour. And we did that just by looking at all the units of everything. And uh, it's not easy, but it's not all that difficult. And part C, um, we want to know how many uh, liters of gas were used to get to the speed of 80. Having dealt with the units so much, uh, you can get through this one a little more quickly. So uh, we need the speed to be 80, so that's R of t equals 80. So we use our calculator to solve that, and we get t is uh, 0 0.33145. I think, let me just check that on my calculator, uh, yeah, okay, um, and I'm going to store that as A. Then what we need to do is we need to find the kilometers traveled to get up to the speed of 80, which is the integral from 0 to A of R of T dt, which your calculator will tell you is 10.79409.65 kilometers, store that. And then finally, what we want to do is figure out how many liters of gasoline were used, but that's exactly what g of x tells us. Um, so all I need to do is uh, find g of b. So the fuel used is g of b, and your calculator will tell you that that is approximately 0 0.537 liters. And make sure you're using your calculator on this problem. Uh, I did this all by hand because uh, part b, I thought, required a lot of explanation. Um, and the calculator stuff isn't really challenging on this one. It's just finding derivatives and, and uh, definite integrals. Um, 
Alright, so that's the entire thing, and I hope you found this helpful. Good luck.